Hey guys, this is Ben from Craig 3D Printing Space. Now you're probably wondering, why am I staring at a blank piece of plywood? Well, maybe it's because I got a little bit of mail today. And maybe, just maybe, we're going to be unboxing something. That's right, the Zone Star Z9 MR2. We are going to unbox it live, right here. Well, not kind of live, but live enough for you. So, shall we get started? So I'm going to set this down on my handy dandy holding chair. We're going to see just what's in this box. It's packaged pretty well. It is a huge box. Of course, this is a supposedly a huge brick. And as always, Zone Star doesn't hold back on making sure that everything is packaged tight. This is why you put things on the rolling chair. You need stuff out of the way. Oh, it looks like I got a very nice little build, build heat bed sheet. And look at that packing. There is a ton of stuff in here. And as always, Zone Star is always awesome about making sure that everything is labeled pretty good. Pretty good. And it looks like I got some quality pads. They sent me a gift, an LED lamp. Interesting, interesting. So let's get started getting this stuff out of the box. So, we have the LED lamp. Packs in there tight as always. And we have a bunch of rails. I'm going to move this to the side for now. You guys saw it. Don't want it to get damaged as I'm putting everything on top of it. We have... A power supply. US power cord. Looks like we got belt, power switch. Show that to you. Belt, power switch, and some PTFE tubing, and I'm not 100% sure what that is, and some zip ties. We have the USB cable. The sample filament looks like black and more like a silver than a gray. I'm going to set this off to the side on my printing shelf. Got the connectors. And we got the ever so important, which I'm going to take out of there now micro or SD card that has all the information on how to build it. Very important, do not lose this. That little bag that I just picked up got the SD card out of. It is a uh, it's spare parts. So it looks like I have an extra thermistor, uh, another motor wire, and darn it, I forget the name of the little thingy. It looks, reminds me of those little electronic buttons. All right, looks like we got a bag of cables. Your ever so awesome tools. Railing for bearing upon bearing upon bearing and connectors. I think we need that USB there. Set that aside. Ooh, this one, I get to put the hot end together all together. Wait. It came with wire chain. Zone Star is absolutely awesome about this. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I'm going to put it up here. Look at that. Everything is separated. 
labeled for which printer it's for. I actually really like the way they did this, and I keep this for all my spare parts. Not a hundred percent sure what the next piece is. I'm gonna have to look in the uh, the manual to find out what it is. It's heavy though. There is the two in one out extruder with the fan, with both cooling fans. It's already got the heater installed in it as well as the thermistor. The ever so important board. Can't print without a board. Looks like we got some screws and possibly some feet. A little bit of vibration reduction. You guys got to understand, Zostar really packs the stuff in here. I mean, all the foam fits perfectly. It looks like nothing was disturbed during shipping, which I'm very, very happy about. Oh, auto leveling sensor. I know what that is. Looks like we got some more rails. And all this stuff is metal. Very, very heavy duty. More frame parts, I'm guessing. Lead screws, smooth rods. I'm sure those are inserts for the rails. Okay, let's see. We got one, one, two, three, four, five motors. We got the extruder motor assembly. I know that what that's called because I've had to order one already on for my other printer because it came screwed up on my PNH2 QR2. But Zone Star very very awesomely took care of that. There is the other extruder motor assembly for the filament. All right, what else could possibly be in here? We have the very nice Zone Star front plate. Looks like power supply holder, maybe a board holder. And no, that's not damaged, that's glue. And so everybody knows it did not come in with scratches on it. One 300 by 300 bed. And I'm going to guess based on what this, how heavy this was, that's my heated bed right there. Look at that. Nice and clean. Looks flat. Once again, it's not damaged. It's not scratched. It's blue. And that's it. That is everything that came for the Zone Star Z9 MR2 mixing hot end mixing color printer. Well, I look forward to building this for you guys, and there's going to be an instructional video instead of your typical just build. So look forward to that in the future because it's going to be done here very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, which is also a like, isn't it? Yeah, eh, redundancies help, right? If I repeat it, will you do it? Will you? Maybe? All right, so anyway, like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you can get more notifications of when all my other content is coming out. And as always, if you do or do not like my video for any reason, you can always comment down below and tell me what to fix. I do listen and I do check almost every comment that comes in. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you all later.